Good morning, everybody. Uh, so we are on the trail and uh, we're just really a quarter mile in and uh, we're headed to Damascus. So we got nine, 10 miles into Damascus uh, and we'll go ahead and uh, grab a few provisions and eat lunch. That sounds very good. Uh, and then we'll probably uh, hit the trail again, make it to the Tennessee line and cross a state line, something we haven't done in about uh, uh, 40 days or close to 40 days. And so that'll be a good motivational aspect. And, uh, and then we'll probably walk for about another, there's supposed to be a shelter 10 miles south of Damascus. So we'll probably try to get that maybe a little aggressive considering we're going to stop for lunch in Damascus, but uh, we'll see. Uh, the other significant thing is here in uh, about a mile or two, we'll cross the quarter way there uh, marker for us. Uh, so we'll hit uh, uh, 548 miles here in two miles. And so that'll mark uh, quarter of the way done with the AT. So look forward to that landmark as well. So looks like a good day. Uh, you know, rain overcast yesterday was supposed to be overcast today, but uh, at least starting out, it's, uh, it's a great day, probably uh, mid fifties. And so a great day for hiking. So let's hike on. Yeah, just walking along the trail and looking at the sky and just thought the way the sun is playing on the clouds is just a great picture. So. so a little cloudy, but uh, does not appear to be rain, uh, at least this morning. Maybe later this afternoon or evening, like I said, 30% chance, but right now it's just uh, the light and the clouds look awesome. Great day. <laughs> I'm going to talk real quick about health and how we're doing on health. Uh, I got a little bit of a tight lower back going on right now. Uh, that's interesting uh, because I haven't had any back issues since we've been out here. So uh, I have had uh, shoulders. Uh, I got kind of 
wore out and roughed up by the the backpack straps shoulder straps uh, that was really my fault because the backpack just wasn't adjusted right for my body when I kind of played around with the adjustments we got that good and since then really hasn't bothered me and it's uh, well into the healing process uh, and then the only other issue I've had is my left ankle uh, really when I switched to hiking shoes um, I rolled my left ankle I don't know why just my left but predominantly my left uh, several times the first couple days I was talking to uh, submarine a older seasoned hiker and he was saying he doesn't really believe in the you know argument between hiking boots and hiking shoes he thinks if you wear hiking shoes you just gotta go slow the first week or so let your ankles strengthen up and then once your ankles strengthen then you'll be fine eh, sounds plausible believable uh, in the long run I gotta say uh, my own case in point kind of falls in line with him in that uh, yesterday and today uh, have been really good days where I've not rolled my ankle at all uh, so that's good so now we just got to listen to our body figure out why our lower back has given us a little aggravation probably just stretch out hamstrings and uh, make sure the muscles stay stretched out and hopefully it'll just be a passing thing we'll see What a nice sign to see. Welcome to Damascus. On the Virginia Creeper Trail slash Appalachian Trail. Damascus and we are leaving it good lunch at the Damascus diner uh, cool thing was I sat next to this uh, 78 year old guy who's from Damascus lived there his whole life he was telling me when he was a kid growing up uh, they would probably get 20 hikers in the whole season uh, hiking through Damascus now uh, 20 hikers a day is commonplace in the summer so just uh, goes to show how much more popular uh, hiking the AT has gotten in the last uh, whatever you want to call it 50 60 years so good stop good lunch had a couple of cold drinks and now it's time to hike on so we got about 2.8 miles to the Tennessee Virginia border and we will be out of Virginia for the first time in 40 days so let's hike on
There it is, what we've been waiting on. Tennessee, Virginia state line. And entering Cherokee National Forest. Very nice rocks. So, bam, we're here. We've made it out of Virginia. What a great feeling. We love Virginia. I've been telling people all week. Uh, Virginia is just full of great views, but needed to get to this point just for the sense of accomplishment. So, yes, it's here. It's done. We've crossed over. Oh, man. Let's hike on into Tennessee. kind of mold or something that grows on the rocks and then dries and looks burnt. Kind of cool. Looks like camouflage when you're walking by it. I have not seen it until the last week or so. Yeah, just a little something different. You see this whole area has been burnt. And you know why. That's right. Moonshiners and they're still are back in here. And eh, they're getting a little greedy. So they up production. Got the fire too hot. Got out of control. Blew the still. And burnt all the area around it. So just another sign that... Uh, yeah, moonshining is bad, and it shouldn't be tolerated. 28. So we made it uh, to the shelter, the Abingon Shelter, uh, which is 10 miles south of Damascus. So really good day. We did uh, 20 miles. Uh, we stopped in Damascus and got a few supplies and we had lunch at Damascus. So I think to uh, do all those things, uh, have time to take some pictures and videos and appreciate some scenes uh, and still get here before dark to set up our tent and eat and do all the things we need around camp uh, is... Uh, very good day uh, so anyways yeah we're here uh, people a uh, couple people in the shelter and then there's probably uh, five or six tents around uh, rain I don't know it was sprinkling a minute ago but now it stopped so hopefully there was only a slight chance tonight uh, and tomorrow and then it looked like tomorrow afternoon it was gonna pick up so hopefully we won't get rain tonight but uh, yeah uh, we went through Damascus we crossed the Tennessee Virginia line so now we're finally out of Virginia we love Virginia but uh, needed to get through that state line as uh, just a recognition of uh, making progress and so that was great uh, and we are now well over a quarter of the way done. So a couple milestones that are glad that are good to have passed by. So uh, anyways, good day and I guess we'll leave it at that and uh, hopefully see you tomorrow.